Hey guys, so um, my name is uh, Gustavo and I'm going to show you how I play the intro for this gorgeous song track by, by Kanye West called Closed on Sunday. So I've been, I've been seeing and watching uh, many versions for possible versions for, for this uh, guitar track in, in YouTube, but none of them really satisfied me, you know. Um, some of them were pretty good in the sense of uh, kind of covering the song and doing something different with it. And uh, some of the uh, versions that tried to be faithful to the song, I think uh, they had some little details that didn't work. So I'm going to show you um, how I have worked on this song. You know, I have listened to it many times and uh, I took the... Um, I took the speed of the song down, I mean, to really understand how the chords play and the different uh, elements of the of the finger picking that we're going to do. So the main thing for me is to, to put a capo on the second fret, okay? Without a capo, this song is really difficult to play. And the sounds that you get with the guitar, with the capo, are impossible uh, to get if you, you know, you, if you use bar chords, okay? So... You, you'll never get the, this beautiful thing or this one, okay? You, you'll never get it if you if you use bar chords. So, uh, capo on the second fret, that's uh, very important. And uh, and you need to understand, we need to understand that uh, in, the, in the actual track, there are two guitars, two different guitars. And uh, that makes it really difficult for people who try to play it exactly the same way that the track is recorded, because you need a second guitar, okay? And that's the source of some of the um, uh, some of the errors that the versions that I could see have, okay? So we're gonna use um, one, two, three, and um, four chords, okay? So the the first chord and the you know the the, the key of the song is uh, B minor, okay? which is uh, this finger on the third fret of the fifth, of the second, sorry. You know, I never get used to calling the, <laughs> the strings in a, in a way that is not uh, totally easy to understand, okay? But anyway, one finger here, okay? You know this shape, you know, it's a, it's a A minor, okay? And then, this finger goes here and this finger goes here. So one finger here. Okay, this is one of the chords. And then we're going we're going to use um you know kind of um suspended chord. Uh, this would be uh, in, if we didn't have the capo, this would be uh, D sharp or something like that. D minor sharp. Okay, you can see how I place my fingers.
okay? You may not be familiar with, with this shape. And then we have uh, an A7, uh, which actually is an F sharp 7, but it's, a, it's an A7, which would be this, uh, this uh, shape. But we're gonna, we're gonna suspend it. So we're gonna put this finger in the second fret of the third string, okay? So we have uh, the index finger, no, not the, um, you know, I'm not American, so I, I cannot say it exactly, but this finger goes, this ugly finger, okay, goes in the fourth fret of the fifth string, okay? And then we leave uh, the fourth string, we leave it as it is, okay? And then we put this finger, the index finger, on the third fret of the third string, okay? And then we add, uh, to suspend it, we add this finger and we put it on the uh, fourth fret of the third string, okay? It sounds like this. It's been a hard day's night, okay? And then after that, we're gonna do something. Uh, we're gonna have this shape, which is the same shape for the A minor, but we're gonna use uh, the thumb, okay? To place it over the third fret of the sixth string, okay? So it's gonna sound like this. Beautiful. Okay, so Going back to the chords, we have this shape, the A minor. We have the D sharp suspended, whatever. And then we go to the A7 suspended. Beautiful chord. And we're gonna we're gonna lift this finger. Okay. And then uh, we have this, uh, which is an A minor, but with the thumb on the third fret of the sixth string. Okay. And this is how the arpeggio works. And, uh, you know, it's a little bit difficult in the beginning, but as soon as you practice it, uh, you'll get more familiar with it and more comfortable with it. And it'll be, you know, if you play it with, this, with the music of the, of the track, it'll be, become easier and easier. So I'm gonna do it very slowly so that you can see what I'm doing here with this hand, okay? Okay, so I do How do you get this that sound you, you get it by by doing this with your index finger, okay? I don't know how you call it. It's a hammer on or whatever, you know? Okay And then we go to the D sharp suspended, D minor sharp suspended, and we do this. Sorry. So we keep this chord as it is. And then we pluck and the fifth string, and we do the same that we did with the previous chord, okay? You have to practice this. I, I, you know, I actually didn't know how to do it before, okay? And then you come here and you leave all the strings, okay? I'm gonna do it again so that you can understand how this works. You could even leave all your, your hands from this hand from, from the guitar, but you know, it doesn't sound well. So. And then we go to the A sharp uh, uh, suspended. And this is a little bit more, less intuitive in the beginning, okay? Uh, you know, see what I'm doing with my hands and, and uh, pay attention to the sound, okay? Sorry. Sorry. 
So you first play the sixth chord, okay? The A note, the E note, sorry. That part of the song uh, is very difficult to detect, you know, the exact uh, things that they are doing because you have the voices of the of the of the choir and uh, you know the sound is not so well um, sharp so sharp so so that I couldn't hear you know exactly what they play but it sounded pretty much like this okay sorry see with my hands what I'm doing okay and then when you when you reach the second yeah the second string you also plug uh, the the fifth string okay I look what I'm doing with, with my left hand okay this takes, this is finger picking and it takes a little while, but you can do it, man, okay. And, and then, when we finish with this, we go here. And we're going, we're going to do pretty much the same as we did with the A minor, okay? So, we have the thumb here, up here, and that changes the, the, the tonic of the chord, and uh, it changes the bass, okay? Instead of doing this, which is what, what we were doing before, we do the same figure here with this hand, but we put the thumb, and it has, a, this arpeggio here has a little change, okay? Uh, it doesn't do this, final okay but it does this okay and then we go back to the D sharp whatever okay and we do the same and we're gonna end in the A minor B minor chord okay so I understand you. I mean, you're completely lost. Uh, I think I'm also lost, <laughs> but I'm going to do the full thing, okay? Pay attention. Radio uh, loops itself throughout the song, and it's a great song, wonderful song. Thank you, Kanye. Goodbye.